Flagpole Buddy, the safest, easiest flagpole system. Hi, I'm Dave. I invented the Flagpole Buddy. Because I got tired of wimpy flagpoles or climbing the ladder to put up a flag on my RV. The Flagpole Buddy has been designed and tested to withstand desert winds. Removal is just as easy as installing was. Flag and store them separately. The pole and flag easily fit in a cargo bag. If you can find an easier, sturdier flag pole system, buy it. Hi, I'm Dave, and I invented Flag Pole Buddy. As you can see from the past video, nothing has changed. We look exactly the same. The product is still the really? same. Okay, except that I have to wear these reading glasses now that I don't not really good. like. They're not really good. It makes me look like a grandfather. Anyway, this is taking up time. Oh, so let's get back to it. Um, the fundamental concept is still the same. Flagpole Buddy is the safest, sturdiest, easiest product on the market. Put up your flagpole system. Or any other flagpole. Or any other pole. My patents came in. I have two patents on the product now. We have gotten into uh, about 30 stores that sell us around the country. Um, there are RV stores. And uh, Camping World. And Camping World has about 75 stores around the country, and they sell our products. And I still work a full-time job. So I'm really busy. Hi, I'm Christine, and let's get this straight. I really run Flagpole Buddy. He's just my chief engineer, or my gopher, should I say. But anyway, I run things from finance to sales to purchasing to packaging to shipping, and then finally customer service. So I'm on the phone constantly. Um, I'm really busy. So, um, I've had to turn down offers to go to big box stores. And uh, no, no, first off, what I was <laughs> saying, our products are really popular with the RVers um, everywhere. Especially, you know, you have retired... <laughs> Mi re retired military really like our product because it's the American flag and they want to fly the American flag. So it's very important to them. And NASCAR and fans. NASCAR fans are well and have Go their Jimmy own. Go Jimmy Johnson. No, no, no. <laughs> Tony Stewart. Go to Tony. And uh, Brad Keselowski. I like Brad. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> besides that. Of our own money, we put in over $250,000. So our 401ks are gone. We have a second on our home. Um... <laughs> Yes. Man, this is depressing. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> okay, so keep going. I'm done. That's it. Yes. I'm just get depressed. I think I think we actually need some help. Okay, <laughs> a guy came to me and asked me to go to get into Target and the auto zone and i've had to turn them down because we don't have the facility we don't have the capacity to put out that kind of quantity and or to buy all that up front all that inventory um so we're we're looking for the sharks to help us uh get to the next level and we've got a great product we love it um it's sharks help we need you help <laughs> Welcome to our factory. This is what we do. Christine runs the business. And also a lot of assembly. I just get home from work. And we have to do more work. We have inventory. Raw over there. We have finished goods inventory there and there and then we put it in these boxes and then we put labels on them and we go to ship and as you can see our shipping dock is our front yard and then we have to take it to a real shipping trucking facility and back, box it all up wrap it up and then they come out we do the paperwork and they come out and take care of it and take it away with the fork trucks and it gets late Receiving product isn't that much easier than shipping. In fact, it's a little more dangerous as you watch from this video. The neighbors also don't like us from that standpoint of having this big truck come in the neighborhood. As you can see, we need help. I sure hope the sharks can help us. Thank you. This next bit of material is extra 
And it's about our story, about how I grew up in northern Indiana in the cold and snow. And you can see our, my bicycles in the background frozen. I was a Boy Scout. I liked the outdoors. I tried to make money by cutting grass. My dad was a Mopar fan. I played hockey in high school. And then uh, just when I started to graduate, just before graduation, my father passed away. And uh, I was 18, uh, didn't have a skill trade at all. And uh, I ended up in the foundry working there for two years. I worked my way into community college, then down to Purdue and graduated from Purdue. I met my wife, Christine, at my job in aerospace. We fell in love, but she was from a different world. She was from Southern California. And so she took me out to the desert and I just loved it. Based being a Boy Scout, I loved camping and uh, we had a great time, but I was really tired of my tents always blowing down in the wind. So we ended up getting a motor home, which we really liked. We got married and then we found some friends that would go out motor homing and we'd always put up the Indiana flag just to, uh, so they could find us. And then I came up with this little strange thing and uh, put my flag up, made it in my garage, and we started selling a few of them, and we went to some RV shows, and people bought them. Our garage started getting a little more inventory, started getting kind of messy. I kept changing the designs, and make, and then we made uh, hard tooling, and came up with our first product line, which is the 1.0 kit. It's a 12-foot pole system. People bought it, put it for ham radios. We got more inventory, and then we started going to more shows. And then they come out with this bigger pole, which meant I had to come out with bigger mounts, which meant Christine had to come up with more money for hard tooling. The new poles work great in our mounts, and you can still do them one hand. Now we have three sizes, a one inch, inch and a half, and two inches. We also sell the poles that go along with them for those each size, and people still buy. Now we have more inventory, and that meant Christine needs to quit her job to run the business. Somebody's got to do it full time. So we turned the garage into a factory, and Christine became president and runs the business from home. We organized the facility, we labeled all the bins, we have finished goods and products, raw materials stored off site. I learned how to do a website which brought more sales and more product and more storage. We ended up in the house and we bought an extra shed and we have three extra sheds to store product. And then we did more shows and some shows were pretty nasty weather wise, but we prevailed and the product prevailed. The shows got bigger to where we had two cash registers in a booth, which meant we had more inventory to take, and we rented RVs to do that, so we had kind of a caravan going to some of our RV shows. Now, Chris and I are NASCAR fans, so we had NASCAR people see us at the races, and they liked what they saw, and so they started buying it, and you can see the last race here, it's all over the place. Now, we've gotten a little smarter to where we actually ship inventory instead of driving all over the country, but that presents a problem from the standpoint of a booth I tried different things, but came up with this portable bar and converted it into a booth. It folds up nicely into this carrying bag and we can ship it on airplanes if we need to. Now one person can go do a show anywhere in the country. We've tried all sorts of RV shows and Bloons Festival even in Albuquerque and SEMA show where our product did get accolades for being a very inventive product, but nothing really compares to retail. Camping World has been great to us. And you know what that means, more inventory, more inventory storage, more work for Christine, and more work for Dave. But we're still happy and having a great time and want to take this business further. Still smiling.